Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to install some modules. Now, modules are a key component about how you can expand the functionality of Drupal. If you've used anything like WordPress before, uh, where they call them plugins, it's a very similar concept. A module really just adds extra functionality to your site. So let's get going by installing some modules that we're going to be using in another video. So now we want to add a module to our site. In the past, this has been sort of a cumbersome procedure. You have to go to Drupal's site, you have to click a download button, and then you have to physically drag that file into that folder into another folder, making sure you got everything right before you can enable the module. In Drupal 8, adding modules is easier. We can come to Extend. From Extend, we can click Install New Module. What we can do is grab the archive from the website, or we can install from a URL. So it's certainly no WordPress where you can just search directly from within the website, but it makes it much easier. Let's open modules in a new tab, come here, and let's go ahead and look for one. So in the search bar, we want to search for path auto, all one word. And what we'll find here, if we scroll down, or if we do a command F, you'll see that path auto exists here. Now it should be at the top, but that's all right. I'm going to open path auto in a new tab. Now from path auto's module page, I can actually click, uh, let's right click on the tar.gz and copy link address. Now if I paste this in here, you should see something like ftp.drupal.org forward slash files forward slash project. Then we have the actual name of the project and the version followed by tar.gz. We can click install from here. And as you can see, Path Auto was installed correctly. So this is awesome. Now this is something that we couldn't necessarily this easily do in the old version of Drupal. We can now add another module if we would like to, or we can enable the newly added module. Let's come to enable. And let's search for Path. And we can see Path Auto. Now you'll notice something, we're not able to click this, and you might be wondering why. If we click this drop down, you'll see it's missing some requires. We have some big red missings. It's missing C tools and it's missing token. Let's head back to the module and you can see that it is requiring token. We can click token and open that up in a new tab. In addition, uh, token's going to be requiring C tools. So let's come and search for C tools. So you'll see it most installed right here on the right hand side, we have chaos tools with C tools in parentheses. Let's go ahead and grab both of these. I'm going to find the Drupal 8 version. Notice how there's 7.x, 6.x. Now we have other releases where there's a development release and an alpha release. Typically you're always going to want to grab the green one. However, because there is no green one available, we're going to be having to use a development release. We're going to go and have to use this other release. So until there is a green one that we can update to, let's right click on this 8.x 3.0 alpha 23. We can copy the link address. We can add new module once more, paste in the link, install. This will install chaos tools. Okay, now let's click add install another module and let's install token. And we can come here, we can simply copy this link address once more. Notice how I'm grabbing the tar.gz instead of the zip. I don't know if it matters for this particular process, but uh, the tar.gz is always going to be a smaller file. It's a, another level of compression there. So I would always pick the tar.gz whenever you can. Let's go ahead and paste this in here once more and install the last of our modules. So now we can have everything up and running. Let's go ahead and click enable newly installed modules. And from now, because we have chaos tools, we can just select chaos tools here. We'll leave the other two unchecked. However, we may want to check them later. And let's come down to token. And now with token, we can also check path auto. Let's install. So by downloading the plugin to your site, it's simply just putting the plugin into a folder in a file in your file system. By clicking this install or enable these plugins, what it's actually doing is telling Drupal to use them. So simply by into your site, it's not making them work. We need to enable them before they'll work. Cool. So we've now just installed three modules. We went from having no modules to three modules. You can come to Drupal site. You can come to 
modules. Uh, so drupal.org slash project slash project underscore module. Or just come to the site and find modules. And here you can search and find all sorts of modules from slideshows to uh, tabs to all sorts of stuff. So check out modules. You can see there's 33,000 modules on here. So there's a lot you can do to extend Drupal. Like I said, it's no WordPress for the interface, but it's not bad. And it's certainly better than it used to be. So now that we have Path Auto installed, along with Chaos Tools and Token, we can get started creating our automatic path aliases. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to see the rest of these videos before they're released, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.